The Nujiang River runs through one of the most beautiful stretches of scenery in southwest China's Yunnan province. Lofty mountains, virgin forests, and river rapids. Despite its rich natural resources, the place has been suffering from extreme poverty throughout history. But at the end of last year, its 550,000 residents finally bid farewell to extreme poverty. How it has managed to do it, many here in China and around the world have been asking that question. Just like those at the International Forum on Poverty Governance and Development Towards Modernization. Very interesting to hear how China has done it in a very multi-dimensional way. What this is this multi-dimensional way? Um, through access to social security, to education, to e-commerce platforms, as they mentioned, um, for farmers to have better knowledge and access to the markets, and it's very impressive. China is also leveraging in establishing some of the infrastructure, uh, agribusiness, economy mm. kind of thing, mm. and also a uh, uh, Belt and Road Initiative, which we are also focusing to assist us to eradicate poverty. Mm. It is important to also take care of the environment, Indeed. have the ecological protection in place, and especially the also too. yes, respect the culture and the people from that specific locality. Mm. I also asked that question to Mr. Guo Weimin, the organizer of the forum. We must consolidate the progress we've made with poverty alleviation and transform the New River region into a more prosperous place where all ethnicities unite together, where distinct cultures are protected and ecologies preserved. Those theories are not abstract if one makes a trip to the home of Zhonghua and Siniu. They are farmers from a small village less than one hour drive from where the forum is being held. Like many other families, they were extremely poor. One could tell by taking a look at their old house. Now with a combination of farming, herding, cooking for tourists, and being tour guides for photographers who are fascinated by their hometown's flora and fauna, their lives have been improving. They also received in recent years a handsome sum of money from the local government to help poverty-stricken families. With that, they built a new home. The old and the new, though a few hundred meters apart from one another, embody a totally transformed family life. Ending extreme poverty is a historic achievement, but how to continuously improve people's lives that is going to be a gigantic topic in front of all of us. Tianwei, Nujiang Prefecture, Yunnan Province.